Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kirsten and today I will be filming my room tour. I've been obsessed with watching room tours and apartment tours myself, so I was really excited to film this video. I do want to preface this by saying that my decor style has changed a lot since I first decorated the space. I would say that this room has more of a glam vibe, but I'm now more into that mid-century modern slash bohemian style, so I've tried to create that boho feel in my already glam styled bedroom. Anyway, that's enough rambling for now, let's jump right into the tour. So here's just an overview of the room. It's really quite spacious, which can kind of be tricky to decorate because I find that with a room this size, it can either look too crowded or really empty. So when you first walk in, you have my closet to the right, and then you come along this way, and I just have this large ceramic planter from Target. I'm still trying to figure out what kind of plant will go nicely in there, so if you have any ideas, let me know. Then over here, I have my desk. This desk is from TJ Maxx, and so is that purple chair. If any of you have known me for a while, you know that my entire room used to be purple, so I had a lot of purple accents to decorate it, and I pretty much got rid of almost everything besides this chair. It's just so comfy, and it rolls, so I love it. <laughs> I mainly use this desk to get ready in the morning. So right above, I just have some brush holders. Um, here I keep my brushes. I have some lipsticks and some more lip liners and things like that. These holders I bought from Amazon and they were pretty cheap, I think. Over on this side, I just have this sand timer that is from Home Goods, and so is this vase. And then I just put some fresh eucalyptus that I bought from a market. Eucalyptus has so many health benefits. I even keep some in my shower. The steam from the shower really helps release the essential oils of the plant. So I really love that. And then right beside it on the wall is just my circle mirror that I got from Target. It actually took me a few tries to hang it up. So I do have a hole in my wall because of it, but we're just gonna pretend that that's not there. Moving right along, I just have this mini dresser that I got from Amazon. I do have two other dressers that you'll see later, but they still weren't enough to hold all my clothes, so I had to get this extra one. And right on top, I just have this reed diffuser from Target. Next to that dresser, I keep this blanket ladder. This ladder is actually a recent purchase of mine that I found at TJ Maxx. I had been looking for the perfect blanket ladder, so when I saw this for only $50, I had to grab it. The throw that I have on top is also from TJ Maxx, and I'm actually looking for another throw to place on it as well. Right beside it is my nightstand. It's a glass mirrored nightstand and this is from Amazon. So is the lamp. And then I just have this flower vase. I actually arranged this myself. I just bought the sand, stones, and the fake flowers from Michaels and put it all together. Right in front of that, I just have this marble coaster because I like to keep a glass of water by my bed at night. Moving on, here is my bed. The actual bed is from Overstock. And then I got this cloud comforter from Buffy. It was quite expensive, but it's so worth it. It really feels like you're sleeping on a cloud. So I just love it. These pillows here in front are from Home Goods, and the ones in the back are just standard memory foam pillows with satin pillowcases on them from Amazon. Then at the bottom of my bed, I just have this throw from Target. And right now I have a tray on here. I don't always keep a tray on my bed because it's just kind of annoying to have to take off and put back on each day, but I do think it looks nice. On the tray, I just have this frame that says family. Family fills our lives with happiness and laughter that my aunt gave me. And then I have this candle from Bath & Body Works and a fake plant from TJ Maxx. On the other side of my bed, I just have another nightstand with this acrylic tissue box from Amazon and another Bath & Body Works candle. This candle is in a lavender scent, so it's supposed to be relaxing and help you go to sleep at night. Right below it, I just have this notebook. I like to write my dreams down when I remember them so that I can read them back and see if they have any significant meaning. Next to my nightstand, I just have this Bath & Body Works scent plug-in. I actually had to put my outlet up like that so that the contents inside wouldn't leak. Right beside it, I just have this faux fiddle leaf fig plant from Joss & Main and this planter from Home Goods. I also have this stool here that I got from TJ Maxx. If you look closely, you can see that my wall here is discolored. I used to have a nail rack here, and when I repainted, it was still up, but then I decided that I didn't really like it here, so I took it down, and now my wall looks like that. <laughs> 
Moving on, here I just have these four shelves that I believe are from Ikea, but they're so old that I really can't remember. On the first shelf here, I just have this picture of my sister and I in this West Elm frame. And right beside it, I have a Jo Malone candle that was gifted to me. These candles are so expensive, I would never buy one for myself, but I do really like how it smells. On the second shelf, I just have this geometric shape that's filled with faux greenery from Target, and I just have it stacked on these two books to give it some height. The third shelf just has this jewelry holder where I like to keep my watches and some bracelets. And then finally, I have this fourth shelf that has another picture of my sister and I as babies. And here I also have a fake plant from TJ Maxx. So here is just my window. I think these linen curtains are from Marshalls, but I can't really remember. I just love that they're sheer, so they really do let a lot of light in. On the windowsill is just another fake plant from TJ Maxx and this elephant that was gifted to me. To the left of that, I just have this huge bird of paradise tree from from Amazon and it is in a planter from TJ Maxx and then these mirrors behind are from Hobby Lobby so over here you will see the two big dressers that I was referring to before I've had these dressers for like 10 years so I'm really not sure how they're still standing but I'm not mad at it on top of this first one, I just have another fake plant from TJ Maxx. And then moving on over, here is my media console that I got from Overstock. I just have it decorated with this oval bowl from Target. I really want to find some wooden beads to put inside, but I just haven't gotten them yet. Above that is my TV. So I did hang it up, but I haven't gotten those cord covers. So this is just what it looks like for now. On the left dresser, I just have some perfumes that I reach for daily. And I just put them on this tray that I got from Home Goods. And now we are at my door, so that is everything. So here's just one final look at my room. So that is it for this room tour. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Everything I mentioned will be linked, so don't forget to check the description box below. Thanks for watching, bye. So I've tried to create, so I've tried to create, so I've tried to create that boho style. Mm -hmm.